All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, it's your boy Vince again. Uh, today's video, I just wanted to talk about how important goal setting is on a daily basis. Um, and not only do you accomplish your goals, I say you had like five goals a day or something, and it could be anything. It could be related to your, um, your work, if you're doing anything on the side for business, to going to the gym, to eating healthy, any type of realm of goal setting. And the reason why that's important, even like how small it could be, uh, you gain confidence, and you gain confidence by um, by repetition, by knowing what you have to do, and by excelling in what you're trying to accomplish. So it all breaks down to even more into that into the science of it. So there's something called dopamine that we have that we um, either we gain or that we shed. It's almost like it's uh, yeah, dopamine receptor. So I have the definition loaded up of what dopamine is and my computer kind of just died. But <laughs> anyways, right? So dopamine, I was gonna give you like the whole, yeah, my computer's, uh, I don't know. But I'm gonna give you like the whole, like a brief definition. I was gonna give you the, the crazy technical, crazy definition, but so basically, dopamine is responsible for for why we feel good when we're like doing something that we know. So like say if like you're if you're really good at video games, you really good at video games, you have that satisfaction feeling like you've had that feeling like, oh, like I love playing this game, right? Or even if you're playing basketball, you know like if you're really good, you have the confidence, you have the composure that you know that you're really good at that thing. And I'm gonna go even extreme. Um, even with drugs, drug addiction, I said addiction, drug addictions. Now you have the dopamine because now you feel good when you're doing it. I mean, obviously whoever is hooked on to whatever substance. So it's always good and it's always bad to something. So what I'm trying to say is that, um, I listened to Simon Sinek. I don't know if you guys know about him or heard of him. Uh, this was like about a good while ago, almost a year ago, and he was he was going through a talk to like the younger um, like millennials about um, about dopamine and about um, about other things. So him explaining that, I was like, okay, it makes a lot of sense now. It makes a lot of sense that it's not only it's not about who you are, like your personality. Like a lot of people blame why like the way they act is because oh that's the way i am there's certain things that go into personality a lot of people um a lot of people confuse personality and with a uh, a skill so with that with that being said you could you could control how much dopamine and like how much um how your confidence um rises and the only reason is that is because by work ethic by if you wanting to put in the time to really go in and um, learn something and actually acquire the knowledge and gain the confidence from that. Now, once I put those two together, I used to have a quote that I had left on the board. I accidentally deleted, I said deleted, I accidentally erased it. But um, I said, actually, actually, no, I'll do that later. Yeah, I said, um, rewire your dopamine for success. So at the time, you know, what was my dopamine really on it was on um it was on um like video games working now doing whatever basically everything that i couldn't that um that was in the way of me really um kicking up my financial future so i was like okay so if i put i start listening to audios podcasts motivational uh, things reading a lot if i put that self if i surround myself with that then my dopamine is going to increase and I, I'm going to like set those daily goals, get those daily wins every single day. And then that gains a whole lot of confidence. That's why there's so many, that's why there's people in the world that, that will say like, like Gary V, for example, he has so much dopamine. It's not even funny. I don't even know where he gets that from. So his main philosophy is that whenever he's inside a room or in any, any type of situation, he says, I'm like, I know I'm the shit. I know I'm the best at what I do. I know that like he's so confident, but he says, but at the same time, he knows only 
probably not even 1% of the world knows who he is. Now, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, my throat. <coughs> One hour later. And I want you to get that down. I want you to know that about yourself. And once you get those daily wins, you know, you can start off little by little. So you can start off with just, hey, all right, wake up at 6 a.m. That's a goal. Mark it off or whatever. You know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, it's not even my goals either. Wake up 6 a.m., go to work, do this, do that, do that, go grocery shopping, check. And once you see those checks, you're like, hey, I'm doing something. So one of my, um, what I want you guys to do is write out five goals. Write out five goals that you will accomplish every single day. Nothing too extreme and nothing too little, but something that's like a little pushing it, but you know it's achievable. But start off, start off simple, start off easy, and then once you have that down, then you know, see how yourself changes in a month. Now, what those are called, like, or like what, um, getting those goals down, they eventually turn into habits. Now it takes you about 66, 67 days to to um, acquire a habit. So what's a habit that you have? Oh, brushing your teeth, hopefully. <laughs> Taking a shower on a daily basis, hopefully. <laughs> you know, you know, like certain things like that. So you want to get down to like your goals, like how that feeling that oh shit, I didn't even brush my teeth or something like that. Like oh, I I, I just woke up and need to brush my teeth. That's how you need to get down your goals. Like save your goals to read. A certain amount every day you have to break yourself out of the oh man um oh man i don't even want to read right now you just gotta force yourself through it now one thing i go by also is if i if i'm trying to accomplish a task and what, whatever else i'm trying to do is easy it's easy just to go into like okay like if i'm trying to do something i'm like okay you want to play ball okay if that's easy and i know i have to get something done i know that's not the thing i should do at the time that I know I need to go back into, take a deep breath, and go back into the mode to get whatever I have to get done. So that's all I had to say for today. Um, I hope you got, hopefully you guys um, got some value from the video. Once again, I appreciate you guys. 100, over 100 subscribers right now. Doing going the, <laughs> the lazy route, you know. Uh, just the next three months, I'm really going to see and push for as most as possible to see where that gets me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. Three hours later. Guys, have a great day. Accomplish those goals. Write down those goals. Follow me on Instagram, Vincent, period, Smythe. Snapchat's the same exact thing. And um, I'll get to you guys in the next video. Three hours.